Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Thank you for being here and being present. Hello, Gabriella. Oh my God, it's Gabriella. It's so good to have you here. You know, one of the best things about being here every single week, week after week, is the people that we have in our life, the people that we don't get to see each and every day. Hello, Tanya. It's so good to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to say Gabriella's in the house and everything, but it's not about that. It's about all of us who are truly present in our life, either for the duration of this time, for months, or for a season. And those of us who are here year after year together as friends, as colleagues, and family. We are a family in a way. So welcome. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari, and I am your expert hypnotherapist. Uh, my business, is, the name of my business is called Heal Within, and that's what I do. I help my clients and those who uh, ask for me and come to me to heal within. So I had someone say, why don't you explain what healing within means? Well, allow me to say this. Years ago, hello, Henry. Mm, so good to have you here. Well, I've been practicing as a hypnotherapist for approximately two decades. Yes, 20 years. It's uh, incredible what you, when you love something and when you do something that you love, uh, it, time isn't of an essence and it just flies. I can't believe that I've been doing this work for 20 years. Well, prior to that, I was an assistant to attorney. And prior to that, I did a lot of things, but I had another part-time job that was uh, planning events for companies and corporations. So for the first years of my life, the beginning of my working world, my career was in the corporate world as assistant to attorneys. I was in the banking business, assistant uh, to uh, operations and new accounts and having a side business doing corporate event planning and weddings. Yes, I even did a wedding for 500 people at one time. So my background is vast and right off the high school, I used to be a dental assistant. So I've had the health industry, the banking industry, the corporate and law, and now the healing industry. Uh, it was approximately over 20 years ago when I was so stressed, my body was breaking down. I had what they said, carpal tunnel, and I, they asked, they recommended for me to have surgery. And I'm saying this because I'm looking at my hand. I had water in my knees. I used to dance and I couldn't dance. I was so stressed, breaking down. Literally, my body was breaking down. And I had already had two surgeries for ovarian cysts while I was married. And then right after my divorce, I was working hours and hours uh, in the law firm uh, for about 10 hours, 11 hours, I became like a workaholic because I put all my energy in order for me not to concentrate on the things that were happening to me or the emotions, the sadness, the anger, the resentment, or just that empty loneliness and shame and guilt and all those emotions, right? And I don't know if you have gone through those or not, but I did. So instead of dealing with it, I just suppressed them. I suppressed them so much that my body was breaking down. And I had no more joy left in my body, no more joy in my life other than work. So there are so many of my clients now that I work and I go and speak at companies and organizations, or I have top-notch uh, attorneys, CPAs, uh, actuaries coming over here. I've got nurses, anesthesiologists, people who are in high stress who come to me and they want to heal within, right? 
So what is hot here within? Oh, to tell the story, all that, my body breaking down, I was literally, my body was going into a shutdown. So I was referred to an acupuncturist. And the acupuncturist was the person who referred me to a hypnotherapist. At the same time, I had developed my ovarian cyst for the third time. And it was the acupuncturist referring me to the hypnotherapist that in few sessions, I realized, truly realized, tapping within my subconscious mind, realizing why my body was breaking down, creating not only uh, my ovarian cyst, uh, emotionally shut down. I was uh, dealing with so much anger and resentment, not knowing how to release it because from the outside, I looked fantastic, fantastic, doing two businesses, making a lot of money, thriving. And yet from the inside, ah, shattered. So it was through hypnotherapy that I rediscovered me and went to school, got my certifications. And since then I have become, I've got my certifications in stress management, domestic abuse consulting, uh, got my massage therapy and I was working. I even had a crew of five or six people working with me at one time doing massages. And a lot of people who know me as a hypnotherapist in stress management did not know that I did massage. My clients for massage therapy did not know I did hypnotherapy. So I am, why am I bringing all this? Because all these certifications and everything was in a way, I was finding ways to heal within myself, to tap within the core of who I am in order for me to find answers, better answers of how to function better, how to live fully, how to thrive uh, completely, purposefully. So those words that I use with my clients is everything that I have gone through and experienced. Experienced, truly, knowing what DV is, knowing what abuse is is knowing what how to overcome it how to keep calm knowing how stress and breaking down in the body because of suppressing so much in, information and all those emotions so when i work with my clients i truly hold my clients in a safe space for them to rediscover themselves a part of hypnotherapy uh, I've been posting, if you are also watching this, please uh, go and uh, go to the Heal Within page, which is my professional page, and sign up over there. I bring information, uh, tools, techniques for you to learn, for you to also tap within yourself, in your own privacy. If you don't want to see a therapist, a hypnotherapist, a coach, or anything, there's tools and techniques and information and videos that I give and bring for you. So you have it in the privacy of your home or in your office, right? So one of the things that I want, I bring for my clients is for you to know our mind is practically approximately five to seven percent consciousness so everything that we do we look listen and learn consciously it's our conscious mind that does our daily routine our creativity our vision everything right but the biggest part of ourselves this beautiful little chip within us that holds all the information all our behavior patterns the blueprint of who we are uh, from the day that we started learning and mimicking and taking in information from our parents, from our teachers, from the ones who we looked up to, either grandparents, neighbors, whoever it is, it's stored in our subconscious mind. So our subconscious mind truly is the hub of information. That's 
what we tap into when we are doing hypnotherapy. So in a way, we bypass our critical factor, our reasoning, judging part of us, because no matter what happens, we can say all the affirmations and you can repeat your mantras. But if your subconscious mind that holds your blueprint and has this belief system that no matter what you say, it's going to do its, it reverts back to its blueprint. That's what you need to change, right? So let me say this. What if you, we were going to talk about what ifs. What if today was your last day? Let's say because of all the earthquakes and everything that is happening, everyone is becoming prepared, right? So this preparedness, it's saying, what if tomorrow hits the big things? If you are not in California, I want to share, if you haven't heard, California has had two big earthquakes. So everyone has been shooken up. Everyone has come to this alertness of, wow, this could be the big one can happen tomorrow. The big one can happen the next day. It's coming, right? So the media, everyone is brought us to this heightened awareness to become prepared for the big earthquake. And here's my thought to you. What if tomorrow is the last day that you had? Would you forgive someone who has hurt you in the past? Would you consider forgiving the person who hurt you yesterday? Would you consider forgiving yourself for holding on to all those hurt and resentment and guilt and shame that you have been carrying on for all these years? And the other person has absolutely no clue. And you're the one who has burdened yourself with all that weight. And you've been holding on with all that guilt, the resentment, the shame, the anger, the anger that has been feeding at you. What if today was the day you gave yourself permission to let go? And free yourself, truly free yourself. Would you? Would you take this moment? Even the burden of the weight that you have been carrying, either physical weight, emotional weight, or even the mental weight that truly has just stuffed your head with all the thoughts, the maybes, the should have, could have, would have and just let it go. Thank you, Henry. You have. Yes. If only today we could. How about someone who hurt you so many years ago? And they have moved on. Perhaps moved on to another state. Moved on to another country. Maybe they're not anywhere in your life in all these years, you haven't forgotten. And that one thing you're still holding on to, what if you didn't even know it? And all that time, it's been a part of that subconscious of yours that has been feeding all that negativity thoughts. Yeah? And if you could, you can just close your eyes at this very moment and go back to another time and a place. It could be yesterday. It could be a week ago, a month ago, months ago, years ago. I don't know. Maybe you can go all the way to your college time. Something happened during college time. Something happened with your cousins, a neighbor. 
and knowing that you are safe right here, right now, today. And whatever memory that comes up for you, you become grateful. Grateful for where you are right now. Grateful for your body, your sound mind, your loving heart. Having compassion for yourself. And you say to yourself, wow, I matter. So in a way, what we just did, validating yourself for who you are right here, right now. And realizing what occurred in the past can also become a part of your history. And just like any historical place, history, the book, when we read it, we read it to gather information and realize that it's now way past. Yes, it did happen. But now you are more in control, you are safe. You have a sound mind and you can take care of yourself better. Safeguarding yourself and helping yourself stand up. And that in itself is the biggest gift and validation you can give to you. And by doing so, that younger version of you, because if it is not now, that means you were much younger. So it could be the child within you, that younger version within you, the what you call a weak part of you, because there is no such thing as weakness. But at this very moment, you empower that part of you. And you hold space for yourself by saying that part of me can now be part of a history and I can create a better story. I can now stand up for myself and hold myself stronger, empower myself, validate myself, appreciate and accept myself. Yes, knowing what happened knowing what occurred, knowing what hand you had in it or not, it doesn't matter. But taking responsibility at this very moment and saying, this is where I am right now. Embracing all of you right now and then evolving to a better you, a stronger you, a thinner you, a healthier you, a more loving you. And that is the best way you say yes to you. So when I hold space for my clients, maybe you or someone you know, it's healing within is to hold space in silence and tapping within so you truly see your gifts. The good, the bad, the right, wrong, it doesn't matter. And what if today you said, I am ready to make that change? You know, there is a saying, uh, you want to see the change in the world, be the change, right? So being the change says, I am ready for the change. And that's the best gift you can give, not only to yourself, and how I work with you is to say, why are you ready today versus months ago? Because we can hear something 
over and over, over and over, listen to the same song, listen, even I've got clients who listen to my recordings and for Relax and Unwind or for my uh, Dropping Weight, and then they come and say, you know, I've been listening to this over and over, and now I hear things. It's as if there is parts in the recording that I had never heard. Why? Because we may hear something someone says a thousand times, and it's that one thousand the thousand and one time that it resonates. It resonates because of our readiness. It's everything is about our readiness. We don't go on a diet because we need to detox. We go on a self-help self-appreciation, becoming healthier, wanting to do something because the reward is far greater than the pain. Or sometimes the pain is so excruciating, we no longer want to feel that pain. That's why we say, I no longer want it. That's why when I did the hypnotherapy in just a few sessions, I healed myself through that. So now I can say, I stopped smoking. I manage my pain much better. I can do root canals with no anesthetic because I can tap in, do the self-hypnosis in a matter of minutes and have absolutely no pain and the recovery is much faster. So when I did the stop smoking, manage my weight, manage my pain, I can also help my clients understanding, understanding the gamut of why we hold on to the smoking, that emotional connection to cigarettes, the emotional connection to what we think we are addicted to. Yes, the physical withdrawal to all that. Even eating, it's not about denying yourself to the food, but why we eat that hole. It's like how we close that pit that we constantly need to feed, but it's an emotional feeding not so much the food. So in a way, finding that platform, the plan, the program, whatever it is, the way that fits for you. There is no cookie cutter. We're all different. We're all unique. We are all an incredible gift. So I want you to validate the best part of who you are. Hmm? Hello. Hi, Annette. How are you? And here is the lady who uh, knows about healing, nutrition, health, vitality, and what I'm going to bring in the next few weeks in the next month is oh, there's going to be re-energizing, revitalizing, heal within. And yes, sometimes um, I'm, not, I'm not gone anywhere. It's just I'm flying under the radar right now because there's so much happening here. And we're going to be bringing you a plethora of more tools, techniques, and gifts gifts so you can gift yourself and people who I'm going to collaborate and bring for my audience for you. So a part of Heal Within is bringing a team together to help you heal within emotionally, physically, mentally, uh, to be the success financially, to be the success personally, to be the success in many ways. And that is the best part. You know, they say spiritually, um, uh, financially, personally, in a relationship with the ones that you love. So it's this loving relationship with creating this beautiful lifestyle for you. And realizing when we feel good about ourselves and we feel good about our surrounding, when we walk into a place and we go, oh, that ah oh, is I like me, 
I like where I am, and I like you. So we can't like someone until we like ourselves. And that's where we come to this energy of being, a being that is complete and whole. So to live purposefully, we have to find our purpose. I hope today's purpose is for you to sit back, sit in silence, take few moments and say, well, what if today was the day I can call upon someone and say thank you for being a part of my life now you are history or write a letter to that person of a letter of forgiveness and once you write it you don't even have to send it but you seal it you sign it plus you date it and you pour in all the hurt the anger, the resentment, whatever it is. And at the end, you sign it with love. It's a love for you, to you, in their name. You address it to them. And then once you seal it, you know what you do? Ah, you say thank you to it. And you can even do this ritual on your own. Go to the beach. Go to your backyard. Bring a pan or a, uh, something that is going to be safe on asphalt. And do a prayer, get a candle or a match, light a candle for yourself because it's the most beautiful ritual. And then burn that letter, 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 letter. And watch the letter burn to the end watch the ashes and once it's done there is no wind it's in a safe place you feel lighter i i guarantee you this ritual will help you it's releasing the past releasing to the ashes releasing and letting go and watch it burn and then you go <sighs> goodbye and let the universe and the wind Take it away at the end. Or if you want it, you can shred it into the shredder, the safest place if you are in the office. Write the letter, seal it, and then put it in the shredder. Watch it go shred it. Listen to the sound. It's as if shredding whatever it is, and it's now gone. And let the bygones be gone. So, I hope today's tools and the technique was beneficial to you. You see, a part of the metaphors and techniques are to give you tools and techniques so that you can feel lighter emotionally, physically, mentally, and let go and forgive and love yourself more than ever. This is Lisa Bubari. Today's segment of Heal Talk Tuesday was What If? And for today, I bid you goodbye and thank you for being present and being here. Hello, Hasmik John. I look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, God bless you and may the universal light be with you. You can always find me here at Facebook, Heal Within, or find me and make an appointment to be with me at healwithin.com. Until next week, God bless.